Hi guys, this is Salty Gaming, and this is going to be my Evil Within playthrough. Uh, I skipped the menus and everything when I started, and I'm going to go just go straight into gameplay. It's from a few nights ago, and I'm going to sound a bit more tired than I usually do because I was operating on three hours sleep. Uh, it's a really cool game, so I'm just going to leave you to it. Yeah, I, I really want to do it on casual, but for the sake of video, I'll do it on survival. Uh, this is sort of a blind playthrough about about well about halfway through it'll become a blind playthrough because i'm up to chapter seven or eight i don't remember it was a very long time ago last time i played this because i basically just pussied out and then borderlands came out and i just fucking stomped all over borderlands and binding of isaac and bloodborne so i haven't played this in a very very long time anyway i'm gonna shut up it's cussing 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off the case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. Can you beat the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients? That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One, two, seven, one, two, four. Please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! <laughs> Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. I'll tell you what I would make of that. It's basically the Resident Evil mansion, isn't it? It's like a super stereotypical horror beginning, but this game's pulled off so ridiculously well. Doesn't even matter, it can get away with anything. Actually, I think it is the Resident Evil creator. Mm, I'll look that up at some point. I might just be pulling that out of my ass. Fuck knows if I'm correct. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, it kind of sucks he can't run at this point because I don't admire the graphics that much. Uh, I should, well, hopefully I will like be doing uh, a chapter every two uh, episodes. Potentially, anyway. I don't know how long the chapters get further on. I should be able to fit this chapter in one, if I remember correctly. So it should be fine. I do like the voice acting in this. It's a pretty good localization considering it's a Japanese game. Or at least I think it's a Japanese game. Again, God knows if I'm right. Did you hear something? It gets pretty it's tense when you here. play this in the dark. It really, really does. Are you injured? What happened here? Nothing's even happened yet, and it's tense. Can't be real. Impossible. Ruby is... I've got her. The security cameras might tell us something. Indeed, they might. Although they may show us yet another fucking Assassin's Creed game. Esso 
out of Torah if reincarnate. Though this is a fucking sick cutscene. It looks like, um, well, I can't tell you the name of it anymore, it's been a very long time since I've watched it. But if anyone's watched Dead Man's Wonderland, pretty sure that's the name of that anime. It's a fucking awesome anime. It's basically about, uh, like, sort of a prison where inmates have to compete for their, like, compete in games and shit to stay alive, basically. It's pretty fucking, it's sort of like the ultra-violence genre, but it is pretty funny if you find that sort of shit funny. Fucking brutal though. Now this was cool. This was the first uh, gameplay I ever saw of this. I want to see that shit. Let me turn further. Man, nah, that guy's face. It's like Susan Boyle without makeup on. swing motherfucker one more got us in a fucking boat. really really mate pushing out the boat on this swinging fucking animation choppy chop totally didn't hear that a massive fucking literally like a 10 stone guy 11 stone guy with fucking belt on and shit in his what even are they? Dungarees? Fucking... <laughs> yeah, landing on steel. Totally didn't fucking hear that. Can, can there someone tell me the buttons please? I don't remember. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, first the first time I played this, this guy completely fucked me over. For some reason, I got the keys, and then I followed him in there, because, you know... Why the fuck not? That noise shit me up first time I played as well. Everything in this game is just designed to sort of like shit you up and then you realise how stupid it is afterwards. It just ends up pissing you off. The thing is with casual mode is it makes you feel like indestructible. So like anything, just it, nothing makes you like jump at all. You're like, ah fuck it. Literally nothing will hit me. Like it'll, it'll hit you and it bounce off. Now bullets you get is amazing, amount of bolts. But on on survival, it really does become like an old school survival horror. It reminds me of the old Resident Evil, like the original Resident Evil. And Resident Evil Zero, that was a fucking sick game. What about in a sprint? Oh, apparently it's all mag. This is fucking sick. Who does this? Who makes a room like this? Someone has gone to the effort of making a room like this for this exact situation. What the fuck? Because that is not a normal, like, slaughterhouse thing. You ain't grind up pigs and shit with that. And this, this, he'll die from here, right? Not only the velocity in which he hits the pool at the bottom, but the infect, like, he's bleeding out. And the infections he has with this point is just the most ridiculous thing. He's not dead already. This, um, these are like Gears of War 2, if anybody played Gears of War 2. The section where you get inside that massive worm and you have to chainsaw your way out. I remember playing that when I was like 10. That was, that was pretty fucking brutal. <laughs> I love that game so much. I might still have it downstairs, I don't know. Alright, 
Let's limp onwards. What is this guy's name? Is he Spanish? I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention during the cutscene. If anyone's looked into this already, they'll know that the plot line is just fucking insane for this game. It is brilliant cut. It's not like, oh, someone made monsters. Done. It is actually really awesome and really weird. I've seen some of it. And, uh, oh, I forgot to say, if anyone's after guides, like a guide sort of thing, or a hint, hints, tips, and like tricks and shit, and how to get past areas, go. There's no point in watching my thing at all. Go to someone else's video, because they know what they're doing. And I really don't. I've played this chapter and I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, is there anything in here? The, the widescreen is sort of weird for this game. I never understood why they put it in widescreen. It always kind of bugged me. It's, well, it's, it doesn't bug you until you notice. Then it really bugs you. Well, the, the uh, maybe the last of us was in widescreen, I don't remember. <laughs> Where is the exit? I ain't going in there. That looks like I can go through it. That the way it shines just makes me want to break it. Really does. It's like a Resident Evil 4, like, oh it shines, you can shoot it. Sort of thing, you know. Can't open those apparently. This big thing you have to run away from actually, it really reminds me of Outlast oh fucking hell. It really reminds me of Outlast, if anybody played Outlast. That game is like, why does it keep doing that? That game is fucking terrifying. I don't know if anyone knows if you can speed this up, this ladder up, because quite frankly it is a painful, painful speed. <laughs> Alright, onwards. What is going on back here? Boiler room note. Uh, I'm gonna read these out, but that's not really that important, <laughs> I suppose. You can read that if you really want to. I'll leave it here for a second. Right, that's enough. I'm not leaving you for any fucking longer. Need to get this shit done. Checkpoint, bitches. Oh, corridors, man. Fucking. Because there's never any fields, is there? What is this? What is going on here? I want to see his face. Wait, let me see his face. He's, he looks like he's jizzing permanently. Permanently ejaculating. Oh, this is fucking creepy. Oh, no, I hate this so much. This is so outlast. It's just ridiculously amount, like, ultimate amount of outlast right here. the logic behind that I don't understand but I basically had to restart the stream this is also much this is like a, the, a massive version of Resident Evil 4 like Resident Evil 4 had these creatures called the oh, I don't know but we have a G I've forgotten the massive claw hands and it looks just like him but they all, it also had the creatures with the chainsaw and this terrifying kid, like thing as a kid because my parents let me play Resident Evil 4 in the back nine. It's a great game though, one of my favourite games ever. And he's off. This is one of my least favourite parts in the game so far that I've played, because I'm not really big on stealth games, like at all. So, it's kind of irritating for me honestly. Although, oh, other than The Last of Us, The Last of Us is a good game. It's a good stealth game. How he didn't see me there is just unbelievable to me. 
literally. <laughs> I'm fucking, oh my god. He's got special needs. Very, very special needs. I'm fucking off, mate. He hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. Pretend he hasn't seen me. Okay, he hasn't seen, he actually hasn't seen me. Oh yeah. going into my leg there. Oh, I'm at bug testing sessions. Gone on then. Alright, let's bounce. Another bottle. Oh no, I can't pick it up. That's good. Oh, I remember this. This is fucking shit scary. Shadow effects for some reason just make horror games so much scarier. I've no idea why. These games, man. He didn't even hit a button. I oh, did. That might be the end of the chapter. I don't. I don't know. I think there's like a massive cutscene, but it is a cool cutscene. Looks like someone out of Inception or some shit. Calm down, mate. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I forgot this was made by Bethesda. They just don't make bad games at all, ever. Even though I'm not a big fan of Fallout, it's still a good game. Uh, should I skip this? Yeah, I'll skip this. If I can skip this. Apparently I can't skip this. <laughs> Looks like I won't be skipping it. It's a weird soundtrack though. Man. I think this is going to be a cool playthrough. It might be the end, might not be. Oh, it's not. Is it more? Oh, there's an earthquake now, I think. I don't remember. I really don't remember. Uh, this should come out as something like a 20 minute episode. I don't really want to get above that. I just want to, well, I would have stopped at about 15 minutes. But I just want to push for the end of this episode. Because it's not too long. I can suddenly run again. Oh no, I can't go out. Where the fuck am I going? This way. Alright, let's bounce. Yeah, so basically I'm going to try and get one of these episodes up every day. But chances are that's just not going to happen. I'm just not going to be able to do it. But I'll try, and I'll try and get every chapter into two or three episodes. And if I have to, ex if I have to extend the episodes like this to 20 minutes, 25 minutes even, I'll probably still do it because it's minimal editing in this series, so it's all good, I can do that. I shouldn't, uh, I, I think I'll finish this. I, I, it's a good game, it's a really good game, just, I just get distracted, I get like, a certain amount of way through it, I get distracted by another game, and I'm like, ooh, the Binding of Isaac, I've played Binding of Isaac for 400 hours, and then I come back to the evil within, and I just feel the need to start again, so, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but... Uh... Please, settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Settle down, Leslie. Leslie's a fucking
cut off from everyone. Everyone must be dead. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. 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 Shit, son. Now that is the intensity that this game like portrays for like 13 or 14 chapters, whatever, however long it is. I'm gonna save the game quickly. And I'll be off. Uh, like if you enjoyed this uh, this like well the beginning of this. Oh look, chapter seven. That's how far I got. So yeah, like if you enjoyed favorite if you want to show your support it really does help me and the other guys at stillborn unicorn subscribe if you want to see more of the series or if you want to see call of duty or grand theft auto bloodborne the binding of isaac little big planet perhaps peace